wanna know how I did this project, please visit my blog. The link can be found in the description box below. Hello everyone, this is Rukshika Rajkuma from Arduino Projects by R and today I'm back with a new and interesting project. In this project, I'll be painting on the capacitive touchscreen with color picker. For this project, you'll be needing an Arduino Mega 2560 microcontroller board, Adafruit's 2.8 inch TFT touch shield, TCS230 or TCS3200 call sensor, IR tracking sensor and a solderless breadboard half plus. This is a capacitive touchscreen and is easy to interface with the Arduino Mega 2560 microcontroller board. And now I have utilized this touch shield for my digital painting project. This color picker is now limited to detect 7 colors which are black, blue, brown, green, red and yellow but it can be programmed to detect much more. You can pick a color by placing an object of your preferred color in front of this color sensor while still hovering over the IR tracking sensor. Now let me show you how this works. For the screen, tap on the gray box on the top left corner. So now I'm going to give you a demo of this project and for this project we'll be using all these five colors and our color picker will detect them correctly. First, let's start with blue. Place the paper beneath the color sensor and hover your finger over the IR tracking sensor. Now it's time to get the color picker in action. As you can see, the color picker has correctly detected the color and now we have blue. Now let's clear the screen so that we can write with another color. Now let's try red. the screen. Now let's try light blue. Let's try green. white and either use your finger or a stylus to paint on this touch shield if a color is not detected properly or if it hasn't been uh, defined the color picker will give you white instead because that is the default color now let me show you. The color of this table is not defined, therefore the color picker will give you white. Please visit my blog for the semantic and the code explanation. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment below. You can also view the post directly by going to arduinoprojectsbyart.blogspot.com Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to learn about the interesting upcoming projects and click on the bell icon if you haven't done that already. This will help you to stay notified about my latest projects and tutorials. Hit the like button if you like this video and please don't forget to comment and share.
Thanks for watching.